Radha Vedic Astrology. Today, we are going to see how Nitya Yogas affect us in our lives. But before that, a big thanks to all of you for liking, sharing, subscribing to our YouTube and Spotify channels and writing in your reviews and your suggestions there. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do. And do remember to press the bell icon so that you can get the notifications as and when the updates come up. So what are the Nitya Yogas? We all know when we're looking at the Panchanga and we know it personally that there are 27 nakshatras. To complement these 27 nakshatras, there are 27 Nitya Yogas. They are different from the Yogas that we make in the chart. These Yogas are constant. And as the sun, as the moon travels through the nakshatras, as we find a change in the nakshatras on a day-to-day -day basis, these Yogas also change on a day-to-day -day basis and keep repeating themselves after 27, 28 days. Every day, every month, every year. So they are also stable like the nakshatras. Again, they have a lot uh, similar to the nakshatras and yet very different from the nakshatras. Nakshatras speak about your mind frame. The Natya Yogas talk about your prosperity and your happiness. The 27 nakshatras we all know show very different characteristics. Similarly, these 27 Nitya Yogas show different characteristics too. The way you can derive your wealth, the way you can derive your prosperity depends from yoga to yoga as the deities of the 27 nakshatras are different and no two deities are same. Similarly, the deities of the yogas are different and no two deities of any two yoga are the same. Again, we find that each of these nakshatras will have a lot to tell us about the mental framework. Each of these yogas talk a lot about a person's uh, emotional quotient, happiness, wealth, etc. We know that not all the nakshatras are somnia or soft or moving in a certain speed. All of them will have a different variety to themselves. Some are good, some are very soft, some are very harsh. Like Mula, it's very harsh. Whereas when we talk about the Rohini nakshatra, we know that it's good to go. It's, it's a very stable nakshatra. When we're talking about the uh, <clears throat> Pushya nakshatra, we know that it's somewhat soft. And we know that these nakshatras show the dynamic creep, uh, you know, results. Similarly, these yogas, they also have the distinct features which make them very uh, giving without much effort, whereas the others will make you run through the mill before they give you their results. So these Nitya Yogas, like the Nakshatras, resonate very well and give their results very strongly in our lives. We start with the first yoga that is in the series, and that is the Vishkumbha Yoga. The Vishkum Yoga, the deity is Yama. So this uh, deity, we all know, we all know uh, that Yama is a leader. He is a Digpal, that is, he is responsible for a certain area in the chart, and he's also responsible for a certain zone in the universe. And he's a very responsible person. He's the one that follows Dharma. We know that Yama is does not give results without testing a person, without, if the person is not thorough with the work, and we know that the person has to be very stressed placed. Similarly, Vishkum Yoga, we know for certain, gives result when a person is very dedicated, very straightforward, honest to their work, person is, adheres to his or her response responsibilities and follows them to the T. The person has a very strong ethical background. When a person shows all these things in their life, then Vishkum Yoga will definitely give very good results. It makes you being well known. Dharmraj is, Yama is well known for who he is. So that is what this yoga shows. Then we move on to Preeti Yoga. As I said that there are certain yogas which 
create a lot of um, discipline, which require you to do a lot of work before they give results. Vishkum Yoga is one of them. The yogas, for example, Preeti Yoga, the name itself talks and says it's a loving yoga. So, and the deity being Lord Vishnu, in all his forms, he's the eternal lover. So he gives, this yoga gives results without much ado. One who has a good presence of mind, somebody who knows how to get out of sticky situations, somebody who has um, a very good speech and can get a lot of name and fame out of that is the yoga that Preeti Yoga gives you results in. It also ensures that you have a lot of money and luck. Now, when we talk about Sukarma Yoga, again, the deity here is Indra. This yoga gives you a lot of stability. This yoga gives you a high position in life. How does it give you that? And how does it give you that name and fame and money? When you're courageous enough to take on things head on, places where others don't want to go or others feel afraid to go and you say, I can gladly venture and I will show my courage and my care. That is a place that is your USP and you can make a lot of money. Name and fame will follow through when you are doing that. And this is also a yoga that enables a person to be an entrepreneur. We're talking about, again, as I said, here you have to do little and you get a lot more than you uh, had ever expected uh, comparative but gandhi yoga gandhi yoga or which is ruled by agni can show a lot of indulgence on the part of the person which can fire back on the person this is a place where you one has to understand the value of ethics and the value of friends the value of not encroaching on other people's properties and there's certain laws and boundaries that one must follow if you don't do that there's a lot that you have to suffer on that account so these are the things that this yoga says the protection might be withdrawn if you do not follow certain laws and boundaries on the other hand, if you're following laws and boundaries, you're moved into a place of divinity. You're given a high position in life and you're treated well. We move on to one final yoga, that is the Harshana Yoga. Yes, there are 27 yogas and each of them are beautiful and need an explanation. Which we do that in our Panchang classes. But here we are just trying to show you how you can understand from your yoga of the chart as to what you can get in life and how you can get it. There are yogas like um, Shukla Yoga, Siddha Yoga, Siddhi Yoga, all each one of them bring you a lot of things in life. Vajra Yoga, Vatipata Yoga, trying to teach you to be independent, trying to teach you to work on your own. So understand what the yoga is trying to tell you. Understand how it will afford you so much in life that you will, you really would be amazed at it. But the way to get it will be different. And the placement of Jupiter and the yogi, our yogi, Saha yogi planet goes a long way. But that's an intense thing that we need to take it up in some other class. So nothing works without an expert. Uh, explanation like a chart does. So we are going to take up a chart here. We are going to take up the chart of Abhina Bindra, the first person who got the, uh, you know, the gold medal on a, in the Olympics for India. And he really rose to power. Yes, the planets did work for him. And we are going to see that he has the Sukarma Yoga. In this way, you can also see where you will be finding details on the Jehora. In the Jehora, wherever, whenever you open your chart, these basics are always provided for all of us. And we can see the Nakshatra, Yoga, Karana, Tithi and Vara very clearly. So in the yoga, we see for Abhinav Bindra that it is the Sukarma Yoga. And it is ruled by Mars. Mars for him becomes the Yoga Karaka of the chart. And Mars for him is also in the fifth house of name and fame. So we see that the Yogi Graha is also very important for us. Not only that, we know that he was the one who rose to power. He took up the challenge, showed the courage and the dare making uh shooting his usp and he got a lot 
from the world and definitely from his country for which he got the gold medal. Now we are going to take up a Vishkum yoga example. We've always thought that Vishkum is not a very good yoga. And yes, it does bear that it is a little strict yoga. But it's not all that bad. Because the example that I'm going to show you is that of Roosevelt, President FDR. Um, well, again, you can see that the yoga here for him is Vishkum. And Saturn is his the planet, the yogi graha. We see that Saturn is in the eighth house. It is debilitated. Does that make us sad? It's in the it's in the eighth house, and that shows changes and transformation are a part of life for him. It is important for him to undergo that changes. He was the one who was so disciplined about what he had to uh, do. He was the one who brought about that win for the Allied in the World War II. Until today, he's said to be one of the three most responsible and the best presidents of the United States. So the no yoga is good or bad. How we handle the power of the yoga, how we go ahead and achieve that name, fame, monetary success, and love is what that matters. So do find out what your yoga is. See how it works in your chart. And don't forget to write to us and let us know. If you want more on this, do write to us again. Till we meet with you again, please hit the bell icon for fresh updates. Don't forget to like, share and comment on the videos. And please subscribe to our channel.